Hey water signs, welcome to the crystal monthly healing video for November for water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. <laughs> Next time I'll say that a lot more smoothly and a lot more charismatically, okay? Um, so those who are new to my channel, new to these kind of videos that I do, I basically use this deck, the Crystal Wisdom, Wisdom, the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck to pull cards to see what crystals that you guys will need for the month, for the upcoming month, which is November. Uh, and then I pull some tarot cards to basically elaborate as to why you need these crystals. Now keep in mind, I always read the description of the crystals. No matter how many times I've done this, I always do that because I get new people all the time, but also to allow you to understand if you resonate with these crystals or not to see if they actually, if you actually need them. These are very, <clears throat> excuse me, these are very, very general readings here. So um, it's not going to apply to everybody, right? No need to go and buy crystals if you don't really need the crystal, right? Um, but also guys, I used to do these, for those who are new, I used to do these in a two-parter situation, doing it from Aries to Virgo and then Libra to Pisces. <sighs> I decided to do it by elements this time because, as you can tell, my throat's been giving me a lot of problems. My patrons already know. I've been working a lot of patron Patreon videos to catch up, but due to, like, my asthma, my allergies, throat chakra energy, mercury retrograde, my throat is like been closing on me for the last couple of days. Um, so I've been having to take a lot of breaks in between, drinking a lot of tea. Don't worry, guys. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. And as I said um, in the previous weeks, <laughs> as I've said in the previous weeks, uh, I knew it was going to be a problem. I knew it was. So it's just really, really bad right now. So just hang in there with me because I do read the descriptions. It's a lot of talking. So this is just going to give me the break that I need in between. Okay. So water signs. Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Who are we going to start with first? Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, no, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. All right, you're taking the lead. Pisces, you're calling me. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and see what crystals you need for the month of November, Pisces. I think you're doing a lot of reading. I'm seeing books. Excuse me. I'm seeing books, like actual books. Uh-oh. <laughs> Golden Healer. Golden Healer. If we get any repeats, guys... Um, I'll just let you know what sign has them, just letting you know, because uh, there was an air sign that had this. Oh, Aquarius. Aquarius had this. Aquarius had this. He could be a cusper. Sorry, guys. Apparently, when I channel now, I burp, so sorry. Um, anyway, Pisces. Oh, my God. Soulmate. Woo! Okay, Pisces. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. Um, Pisces, I feel like you're trying to understand something. You're spending a lot of time either actual reading or reading someone. That actually began a lot of tarot readings, just saying. Um, you're trying to find out more information. You're trying to make sense of something. You're trying to make sense of something or someone or a situation here. I feel like this person or situation is triggering to you, though. I think that's why, that's why you're trying to make sense of it, because it's triggering to you. Some of you are recognizing that it's an actual trigger and not just an intrigue. If you're recognizing it's a trigger... You're trying to figure out how to do this healing for this particular trigger, okay? What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of November? Let's see. Polychrome Jasper, okay. All right, I like that one. It's very pretty, actually. Very pretty. Um, could definitely involve a soulmate, of course. The soulmate card is out here. What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of November? I'm hearing December. I'm hearing December. Whatever is going on with this person or situation might fall all the way through to December or spill into is what I meant to say. Spill into December. What crystals? Okay. All right. So we have just these three. So I'm going to start and get to read in here. Okay. Golden healer. Ultimate healing. Golden healers are imbued with powerful transformative healing energies. They are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation. Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bounded by five senses expanded by a six metaphysics. But this can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local, everywhere and nowhere at once where there is no time. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. You create the event being observed. Allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide. Recognize your potential to be an amazing healer. Your abilities need at honing and those who heal are soul scored to develop empathy. Much in your life needs transforming. Surrender willingly to the process. Someone clinging to the past holds you back. Encourage them to let go. You may be asked to transform your environment or take on a challenging task. Do so with grace and ease. Healing flows through you. It's a process, not something you do. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the soul star and stellar gateways. And it's also great for channeling the Christ consciousness. Oh, damn it, Pisces. Okay, I'm just getting started on this video and already my throat's giving me a lot of problems. Okay. Soulmate. 
<laughs> the twin flame. Two crystals side by side call in a twin flame. A compliment to your soul. This is what people mean when they ask for a soulmate. A twin flame bonds two people in an intimate relationship or unites you with a higher part of your soul. You yearn to be loved, but does this come from a black hole you need to fill? I'm hearing codependency. Black holes can be filled only from the inside by loving yourself fully and integrating different facets of your being. A twin flame means embracing deep intimacy and interdependency between yourself and another at the spiritual and physical levels. Old heartbreak may need to be healed, ties with a past companion cut or vows negotiated. Prepare for open-hearted, intimate, unconditional love. Decide whether you want a soulmate with the soul lessons that implies or a twin flame, a companion of your heart. You don't need anyone else to make you complete. A twin flame complements your whole, your own wholeness. The frequency is earthy or high, depending on the crystal. Uh, it's great for the earth star, heart, soul star, and stellar gateways, and for unconditionally, unconditional, mutually supportive unions here. Oh, man. Oh, Pisces. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's better. Polychrome Jasper, belonging. Polychrome Jasper is a shaman stone that assists with traveling between worlds, offering protection while you travel. It helps you to remember why you are living on Earth. You belong to a greater group, be it in a family or a clan. If you feel isolated, reach out to others out of strength rather than neediness. The stone offers you security. For companionship, choose an animal ally. Ground your efforts in the practical, everyday world. You have the gift of meditation and see all sides of an issue. Big changes are in the offing. Concentrate on practical outcomes. Be down to earth, but pay attention to dreams. Balance your emotional energies and nurture yourself to find joy. Find your power ally and stay under its protection and guidance. Give assistance to others who seek freedom. Guard against giving away your power. Disease arises out of ancestral distress carried in DNA. Healing and forgiveness sent down your family line. Replace this with well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy. The uh, great for the earth star chakra and great for Leos, Libras, and Aquas and for integration and reconnection. Oh, shit. Okay, Pisces. So basically, it seems like some of you... Ah, pick it up. Some of you come across a really significant connection here, okay? Whether it's a soulmate, counterpart, twin, whatever, whatever label you want to put on it, you are coming across someone who is triggering you, who is triggering you, and who is activating you. That's why the Golden Healer is here to help you with those triggers. Seems like these triggers are around unconditional love and conditional love. It's like codependency. Uh, <clears throat> around codependency, not feeling loved, not really understanding what unconditional love is and understanding what healthy love is. That's what these triggers are around for you. And also you might be seeing this person a lot in the dream space or you might be affected as far as your dreams are con are concerned. Okay. So it seems a very powerful time for you, Pisces. November is going to be very interesting for you. Let's go ahead and pull some cards and see why you need these crystals. Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of November? temperance sagittarian energy this is my divine fix it angel so this could literally be a guardian angel of yours or angelic healing that's coming in but it is healing nonetheless it's definite healing I, oh my god i've never noticed that before i've never ever freaking noticed that before how many times has a tarot reader ever worked with this deck myself included i've never noticed that before that's the sun that's the freaking sun i almost want to pull the sun card out okay if the sun card comes out, it comes out. If it doesn't, I'm pulling it out by the end of it so we can compare to see uh, what else is in the background of this sun here. I literally am like seeing the sun card in the back of this. Pisces, happiness and freedom awaits you here, but right now is the time to heal to get there, okay? To quite literally get there, okay? Wow. I can't believe I've never noticed that before. Uh, why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of November? Ew, King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. Again, you could be a Cusper. Also could be Gemini or Libra. I feel ego. I feel ego with this. There's a need to heal some ego stuff going on here with you, Pisces. Some of your shadow side. Yeah, I'm just getting ego off of this. Healing your ego. 
healing your ego. A lot of people would say ego death. I don't like that term, but this feels like an ego healing. Pisces, it really does. It feels like an ego healing. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, God. I'm getting abandonment. Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. This is someone who is not careful with their words. I am getting fighting, fighting for some, and definitely an ending, a betrayal, but I feel like abandoned. Almost Pisces, like whoever this has been in your life, I feel like this is an old wound. I don't feel like this is current. It could be, but I don't feel that. I feel like it's actually really old here. Um, it's someone who should have come in and rescued or come in and been, had been there. I feel like this is relating to codependency or abandonment issues that have taken place. This is an energy of feeling abandoned and left behind by someone who really just didn't give a shit. Who really just didn't give a shit. These wounds could have been sparked by someone who is a narcissist. King of Swords in reverse can be a narcissistic energy. Okay? Which, narcissists go hand in hand with codependence, okay? Why do my Pisces need these crystals for the month of November? Could have been a father figure of yours, by the way. Doesn't have to be, but it could have been. I'm also hearing sent off. Wait, what is this? Sent off? Pisces, this is interesting. For some of you, you might have been abandoned by someone, a, a partner, a parent, what have you. But some of you felt sent away. That's interesting. Some of you felt sent away. But that was the abandonment wound. Like, they abandoned you by sending you away. Oh, well, I don't like that. Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of November? Let's see what we got here. Wow. Oh, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or Water with the world. Fixed energy. Uh, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, which was Capricorn. You're going into a whole new cycle here, which I really feel strongly is leading you to the sun after some angelic healing. Some of you it's angelic. Some of you, it's angelic. Um, others, you're literally, it's almost like you're being sent someone, like a soulmate or a counterpart to help you heal these wounds here. But with this energy, this is stuff that's that's stopping. This is an energy that you're harnessing, Pisces, that's coming to an end and you're coming into something new. This is going to be no longer. I got to be honest, this is an energy of overgiving. Giving to people who aren't loyal to you or giving to people who are just takers, who don't have that loyalty, right? Who have no interest in giving back, just taking, just taking. Some of you, this was a spouse. Oh, God. Some of you, this was a spouse who was really focused on money and material gain. You're done with that. You're done with that bullshit. Done with that bullshit. Overall energy, we do have the magician, which I love seeing, Pisces. Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. This is having all the tools in the toolbox to get out of where you are, to go to where you need to be, okay? I'm also hearing strength. Um, having the strength to face these issues, facing these issues of betrayal, these issues of abandonment, whether it was from an ex-lover, a current lover, a parent, a friend, whoever, you are healing from this. And for some of you, you're meeting a soulmate or a counterpart who's helping you heal this. And a lot of you have a pattern of overgiving. A lot of you have a pattern of overgiving or ending up with people who are more interested in money or material gains than, than your actual spirit. Oh, then your spirit is what I just got. Your spirit. You're coming to a whole new cycle where you don't have to do that anymore, but you have to actually surrender to the healing to do that in order to manifest your way out of it too, okay? Wow, Pisces. Okay, now let me find that sun card. <laughs> it's like, I gotta look. I just have to. Did I miss it? No. Where's the freaking sun? Watch it be at the bottom. Any day. Oh, there it is. Let's compare. Let's see. Oh, yeah, no. Mm. Okay. Didn't have as much going on in this card than I would have thought it would have had, but I definitely feel like that's almost like the sun from the freaking sun card. I just can't help but see that personally. I can't help but see that personally. Anyway, Pisces, that was for you. So let's see. Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer, 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 Cancer. You're winning. You're winning. Scorpios, what's up? I feel like Scorpios are quiet right now. Okay, Cancers. Let's focus on you guys. Let me get a little sippy here. Okay. Cancer. What crystals do my Cancer... Oh, Cancer. 
<laughs> oh, Cancer. I know that October has been rough for you guys. I feel the heaviness. I feel the heaviness for you, Cancer. Oh, my poor water signs. What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of November? Oh, Cancer. I, I This could be someone you're connecting with. It doesn't have to be you. But it's like, I'm getting an energy of just like sitting in like dim lighting or dark lighting, drinking, playing music. Like... I mean, it's probably, it's, it feels cathartic. Just don't wallow. Like, don't sit there too long. It can quickly become very depressive, Cancer. And again, it could be something you're connecting with, but uh, let's see, let's see. What crystals do my Cancers need? Golden healer. Oh, shit, Cancer. So you're needing some healing too. I'm not going to repeat this one. So Pisces had this for those who are using the timestamps. Pisces had this one. So if you want the description for this one, please go back and uh, look at that one. It was their first one too. And then we have Purpurite. Purpurite. Oh my God. I freaking love this crystal. Look at all that purple. Purpurite. Cancer, I feel some Nirvana Quartz. Nirvana Quartz. I feel a major need to cleanse and detox cancer whether you need to cleanse and detox emotionally or physically some of you it's definitely physical and for those who that applies to you already feel it you already feel your body kind of being like what the hell cancer so just make sure you pay attention to that what crystals do my cancers need for the month of november some of you are trying to purge someone out of your system oh this is interesting i can feel it some of you are trying to purge someone out of your system what crystals do my Cancers need for the month of November? Oh, Cancer, you got four crystals. That's a lot. That's a lot. Purcelli Blue Stone. Purcelli Blue Stone. So like I said, Golden Healer. Go look at Pisces for the description of that one to decide if you need it for yourself. I'm not going to read it again. And then we'll go over Purpurite. I love saying that. Purpurite. Okay. Purpurite. The Curse Clearer. Extremely effective for psychic and aura protection. Purpurite grounds high frequency energy, harmonizing the physical body to the new vibration. It helps you to break away from self-destructive or self-limiting behavior. Cancer, don't wallow too much. I know you like your shell. Don't wallow too much. Energizing the physical and mental bodies that overcomes tiredness, apathy, and despondency. Old habits and patterns, including those inherited from ancestors, may keep you mired in the past. Subtle energetics of ancient curses or ill wishing could be affecting you. These may be personal or passed down through the family line. You may be open to mental influence from others. Be open to new ways to heal. Protect yourself appropriately, but do not be overly defensive. Check out whether you have inadvertently offended anyone. If so, make reparation where possible. If not, send unconditional love and forgiveness without needing to know why or where. The past creates the present, but the past can be repaired and the present healed. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for, uh, God, I can't see. It's great for the soul star and stellar gateways and the root chakra. It's also great for being a lineage breaker. Yeah, purge a man. Purging, purging, purging. I felt that with the quartz too, actually. Purging someone out of your system or something out of your system, okay? Also, obviously, it is to protect yourself from any negative energies, from any hate being sent your way here, okay? Nirvana quartz, enlightenment. Nirvana Quartz assists in stepping off the karmic wheel, bringing light and bliss con consciousness. For many lifetimes, you've been working with your karma that has now passed. There is no need for restitution, nor punishment or guilt. Let those go so that you recognize your full potential, receiving a download of cosmic light that transforms your being. Step off the cosmic karmic round and allow the karma of grace to manifest. Open yourself to receive enlightenment. Recognize this as a new beginning and fresh energy. If you are experiencing traumatic times and soul challenges, relax and wait for resolution. Do not push against the river. Go with the flow. Karma is created in each moment by every thought <clears throat> and deed. Uplifting thoughts and positive actions ensure your future well-being. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for the crown chakra and for Pisceans and embodying enlightenment on earth. Oh, God, Cancer. All right. So you're still in the darkness a little bit. That's okay. Just work your way out of it. Just work your way through it. Don't try to bulldoze your way out of it, but just accept where you are and work through the stuff that you're feeling, okay? Purcelli Bluestone, the inner compass. Purcelli Bluestone's planted healing energies from the land of the, of the ancestors into a sacred healing landscape. The stone accesses past, present, and future. You are an ancient shaman 
who has much wisdom to impart and the ability to journey through multiple dimensions in search of healing. You have unshakable core stability and inner compass that directs you with integrity. Use natural medicine for ailments. Pay attention to your boundaries. Dig deep into the past. Access your memories and cut yourself free. Examine your deepest intentions and roots. Live in the present moment. Find your own direction and face challenges with equanimity. You have power to decide. Pay particular attention to your environment. Be true to yourself in the is the basis of all well-being, spiritual and physical. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. It's great for the earth star. <clears throat> Excuse me. Great for Taurians, Sagis, and Capricorns and developing a spiritual compass. Whatever darkness you're sitting in right now, Cancer, it is causing some fogginess, some haziness, also a lot of agitation and sadness, okay? You definitely need to heal right now. You definitely, for those who resonate with this, you definitely need to heal and you need to purge physically and emotionally. Some of you, like I said, are trying to purge someone out of your system specifically, but you need to work through these. You need to work through these triggers, these emotions, this pain. You really need to work through it right now, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and see why you need these crystals. Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of November? Cancers need these crystals for the month of November. Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my cancers need these crystals? Tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars energy. Cancer, I feel like this tower moment already happened. I don't feel like this is, I don't feel like this is upcoming. I feel like it's already happened. Oh, that made me dizzy, actually. Um, whatever it was, I don't feel like you saw it coming. I feel a heartbreaking truth attached to this. Yeah, heartbreaking truth. I'm getting a heartbreaking truth. Show me why cancers need these crystals for the month of November. Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of November? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, oh God, death, scorpionic energy. And we got a Queen of Wands in a verse, Four of Cups at the bottom. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Yeah, this feels like an ending, Cancer. Something has definitely come to an end here. It was unexpected. It was abrupt. And I feel a lot of rage with that Queen of Wands. A lot of rage. Either you put an end to something or, or someone put an end to something. Either way, Cancer, someone's getting the real shit at the end of the stick. And whoever is needs these crystals and is sitting in darkness here. But there's definitely an ending. It's an ending. It's an ending. I'm like... I'm feeling it. It's an ending. <clears throat> and someone was left hella mad. Someone was left hella mad. I'm hearing rage. I'm actually hearing rage. And I do feel there's a heartbreaking truth behind it. Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of November? Star card jumped out at me. Star in reverse Aquarian energy. And we had two more cards that wanted to come out. Wow. Oh, man. Magician in reverse Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy with the chariot in reverse Cancerian energy. Oh, Cancer. I mean, I'm I'm just like, I'm getting, what's that, what's that word? It's like jaw dropping. Oh, there we go. Like jaw dropping, like almost paralyzed. Yeah, it's like jaw-dropping jaw reaction paralysis of like what the fuck just happened like that's kind of what I'm getting like what the fuck just happened here this is that person's reaction chair in reverse it's like I'm getting that's where I'm getting that paralysis where it's just like no movement like 
what can I do with this? Magician in reverse, you can't really, it's like, I can't, do, I can't do anything about this. Like, I can't do anything. I, someone's, someone's just like, <laughs> sorry, I know I'm all over the place. Whatever this, this event is, this really awful ending or tower moment. I mean, look at that. Oh, whatever that is, someone is just at first left stunned and then goes into this like almost pan, like, like slow increase in panic of what do I do now? Where do I go now? How, like how, what can I eat? What, what resources do I even have to get out of this or to even move forward? And then quickly losing faith, quickly, quickly losing faith. I do feel a little bit of depression with that too. Overall energy, we do have the emperor, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. And then we have a four of swords, Libra energy. Someone is like, go, someone's really going within. This is the minor arcana to the hermit card. I feel a major need of recovery. I feel like this emperor dropped the truth bomb. Oh, wait, didn't that, that just flashed me back to a reading I did recently. I think that was um one of the reading titles for the reading for one of the fire signs, but I can't remember which one it is. Anyway, there was some kind of harsh truth that came out causing a really awful tower moment and definitely an ending, sending someone into a rage here. I'm also hearing that someone wasn't who they said they were. Someone was wearing a mask. Someone was, someone, someone was wearing a mask and the person who was found out was wearing the mask flew into a rage, probably because they were upset they got found out by something. And I feel like this emperor is the one that called it out. And this is the person who's resting. This is the person who's recovering here. All the while, someone's just in shock. Someone's just in shock and quickly losing faith and, and falling a little bit into a depression. This emperor is quiet. This emperor is hella quiet. I feel like this is actually the person who needs the most healing right now. Both parties are hurt, but one is just like, one's just angry because they, they got found out is what I'm getting. One's just angry because they got found out and then this person's just sitting in silence. Sitting in silence, trying to recover, trying to make sense of shit, trying to find their faith again. Oh, <sighs> trying to find their faith again. Wow. Cancer, this is intense. And you guys know I don't sugarcoat shit. I'm just giving you what I get. Um, I know this sucks, but if you were dealing with someone who is fake, probably for the best. Just saying. Tower moments don't happen just, just because, right? <laughs> Tower moments happen because something needs to get removed, something needs to be shook up, or there's too much stagnancy. That's what that, Those are the reasons why tower moments happen. This tower moment happened for a reason. Okay? Cancer, you're going to be okay. Just don't wallow in it. Take your time and deal with your emotions and process, but don't wallow. Don't, don't let it take you over into a depression, okay? Scorpio, last but not least, my scorpions. How are you? Happy birthday, by the way. Happy birthday. Scorpio. What? Okay, I'm not taking those. I just got started. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of November? Oh, God. Hold on, guys. Okay, Scorpios, let's continue. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of November? <clears throat> what crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of November? What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of November? Oh, got a peeker. Oh, selenite. Oh, one of the air signs had this. Was it Libra? I think it was Libra, so you could be a cusper. But Selenite's the first card out here, Scorpio. What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of November? Let's see. Ooh, Trigonic Quartz. Okay, Trigonic Quartz. I feel a lot of enlightenment energy with you, Scorps. There's so much truth coming to light. There's so much truth coming to light that for some you might feel overwhelmed by it and need to make sense of it. Need to make sense of it. What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of November? <clears throat> what other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of November? 
What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of November? Ah! <laughs> they jumped out at me. All right, now we've got, ooh, Bumblebee Jasper. There was another air sign who had this. I think it was Gemini. I think Gemini had that one. Give me know the gem could have that in your chart. And then Menelite. Oh, okay, I see you, Scorpios. So you're harnessing a lot of feminine energy. I'm hearing nurture, nurture, fertility, abundance. Nurture, fertility, and abundance. Scorpios, you know you're coming into something. You're coming to something, you have to take the lead on it, you have to take charge of it. Some of you could have gotten information uh, through a download or just through your natural intuition. You're very intuitive. But you're getting so much information intuitively. It is bombarding you a little bit. You gotta you gotta ground yourself to make sense of it. Talk to your guides about that. If, you, if they're talking to you too much or you're seeing too many things, talk to your guides about that to kind of lessen the flow, to lessen the flow. Because you're about to take charge on something if you don't recognize you're about to you need, if you don't recognize you need to take charge of something you need to take charge on it okay you need to take charge on it it's something that's very fertile a lot of I'm, and i keep getting like fertile fertile nurturing and abundance fertility yeah very empress very empress energy here something's trying to grow something's trying to expand it feels very positive but i feel like you have to be the leader in this scorpio you need to see it though you need to see it okay so let's go ahead and read these crystals all four of them. All four of them. You're going to be busy, Scorpio. Okay. Oh, God. All right. Selenite, divine light. In the ancient world, selenite protected against wanderings of the mind. It invokes mental clarity and divine inspiration. Spirituality is vital for you. You are a translucent soul who moves fluidly through time. Use insights wisely. Avoid confusing past with present. You see into people's hearts to what motivates them. Do not be manipulated or too eager to please. Stand by what you know. You have the gift of clarity and mental flexibility with the power to make excellent decisions. A situation is unpredictable no matter how solid it appears. Be prepared for challenges and changes. Banish confusion. Clarity is needed. Allow divine light to inspire the future. Let go of something dear to you. Parting does not mean loss of love. Reconciliation is possible. Make the first move. Overheard conversations enlighten you. Being in the flow strengthens your well-being. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the soul star, the crown, and the stellar gateway. Great for Taurians and Cancers. And for shining divine light on the earth. <clears throat> Mm. I know this might be my last video of the day I didn't I didn't really get to get much done either trigonic quartz the soul's code trigonics hold the secrets of the universe and rapidly expand your awareness of multi multi dimensions trigonics are cosmic coding for the soul you are an eternal spirit on a human journey as a result you may feel that earth is not your true home but remember that you are here for a purpose expand your awareness restructuring your physical and subtle bodies beliefs and realities birth your soul fully on earth if you feel alienated Meditation triggers your soul's full potential and purpose. In reintegrating fragments of your soul, you bring about wholeness. Recognize the multidimensional breadth of your own soul. Remain honest to achieve success. Reach beyond apparent reality and karma. Let go of conflicts. Renegotiate soul contracts. Heal soul traumas and the etheric blueprint. Expel toxins from the physical and subtle bodies to download higher frequency spiritual energies and integrate the light body. Your soul provides everything you need for well-being. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the soul star and stellar gateways and for aquas and Pisceans and evolution to highest dimensions. <clears throat> oh, my God. Oh, gosh. And I've been drinking so much tea. I'm so tired of drinking tea. <laughs> okay. Bumblebee Jasper, trust. Bumblebee Jasper's starting, startling colors instill a new vibration. The stone stimulates new projects, bringing you the message that you must have honesty in your life. You are a divine being with immense inner riches holding the bright, energizing light of the sun. You are born to carry out a specific task. Charismatic, you naturally attract people. You have inner strength and courageously go where others do not dare. Harvest your resources and put them to work to heal dis-ease. A moment of fertilization. You are being... <laughs> fertilization <laughs> anyway you're being open to new possibilities remember that the bee is not aerodynamically designed to fly but it does cut through doubt and uncertainty relax and focus clear sight is needed now visualize your future love and good fortune run, rush towards you oh scorpios love and good fortune rush towards you grasp opportunities be a leader but avoid arrogance trust the universe you overcome obstacles someone new lights up your life Food intolerances and other allergies may underlie any physical discomfort you experience. Frequency of the stone is earthy. 
It's great for the sacral and the solar plexus. Great for Leos, Virgos, and Sagis, and for triumphing over the impossible. Oh, one more Scorpio. One more. Hang in there with me. Hang in there with me. <clears throat> Menelite, a wise feminine. Menelite has a profound connection with Earth, the wise feminine and priestess power. It marks rites of passage through womanhood to wisdom. You are an, an immortal soul who is an embodiment of wise feminine. Express, express this through your body and actions. Go deep into yourself to find your connection to Mother Earth. Sit in her womb of healing. In meditation, you heal your soul. Put aside fear and remember that transitions are necessary prerequisites for growth. Honor your sacred sexuality. Make rites of passage joyfully. Experience a period of gestation. To move would not be beneficial now. Nurture yourself and bide your time. Withdraw into your inner world to accept necessary change. Make your soul whole and find power allies. You know when it is time for rebirth. Maturation is a process of growing wiser. The soul and the heart do not age. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. It's great for the earth star, the root, and the sacral, and for Taurians, Virgos, and Cappies, and expressing the divine feminine. Scorpio, give me a minute. <laughs> eh. Okay, that helped a lot. It's not going to last long, though. All right, so let's go ahead and see why you need these crystals, okay? Uh, and yes, this is my last video of the day. Promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. Ooh, why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of November? I am hearing alignment, Scorpio. <clears throat> I am hearing alignment. Make sure you're working on that. Some of you are actually having some back problems too. Pay attention to why you're having back problems. It could be spiritual related. Magician just popped out. Uh, mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini. It could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. Yeah, Scorpios, you're going to have to take the lead on something. Very strongly, I'm getting that. You're going to have to take the lead on something. You're going to have to step up. You're going to be really busy. You're going to have a lot of work to do. Okay? Don't stop believing. I, I just lost it back to the song, but they're also telling me to tell you don't stop believing. This is not a time to lose your faith, Scorpio. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of November? Ooh, seven of wands in reverse, Leo energy. Oh, Scorpios, this is interesting. Scorpios, you've been very guarded for quite a while here. They're, they're saying to stop doing, it's like, I understand why you like to be guarded, Scorpio. I do. They're saying it's time to stop that. Okay. But right now, for the month of November, that's not going to serve you. Right now, it's more like you got to break out. Okay. You kind of have to break out and be loud and be bold, be alpha, be leader. During the month of November, you're going to have to break out of being guarded for whatever reason or another. It, you're, it's requ mm, Something's requiring this of you. And I feel like it's to take on a leadership role. Okay. <clears throat> Why do my Scorpios need these crystals? Cards are really wanting to talk. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of November? Oh, five of pentacles, Taurian energy. This is an energy of being down and out, feeling alone, feeling isolated, feeling at a loss. Is this you who feels this way? I don't think it's you. Some of you could have been feeling this. Some of you could have been feeling this. Others, you could have just been really isolating yourself and, and you were okay with that. That's what I'm getting. Scorpios, some of you were isolating yourself and you were okay with that. Again, time to break out. Time to break out. No more. Oh my God, sorry. My nose is really itchy. Time to break out of this. It's time to work with the other people. It's time to talk to people. It's time to talk to people. Um, time to take charge with people as well. <clears throat> for some for some of you, whether it's you or someone you're connecting with, was pushed, pushed away. Was pushed away. Was pushed on to the outskirts. Feels like it had to happen though. It feels like it had to happen. <clears throat> you might not have felt that way at the time. <coughs> if you were pushed away, you might not have felt that way at the time, but it did have to happen. It was in your best interest. 
Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of October? November? Something could have happened in October, spilling over to November. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals? Oh, yeah, there's the rejection card. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Four of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. Someone felt rejected. Scorpios, you might, I feel like you pushed someone to the side. And again, someone could have pushed you to the side and it had to happen. They're telling me it had to happen that way, but someone was definitely rejected here. And then Ace of Swords in reverse, whole lot of lack of clarity. No explanation is also what I'm getting. No explanation. Whoever pushed this person away, whether you pushed them away or someone pushed you away, there was no explanation given. Kind of sounds scorpionic. Doesn't mean it sounds scorpionic. Um, there was no explanation given. There was no explanation given. Scorpios, it's time to step up. It's time to step up and to start talking to people, dealing with people. If you have to make amends with people, make those amends if you have to. Overall energy, we have the Six of Cups. Scorpionic energy. Past life soulmate karmic energy as well. Underneath that, we do have the Hierophant Taurian energy here. Listening to your, to your higher self, listening to your guides, following your intuition here. I definitely feel strong soulmate energy. Strong soulmate energy. You're going to listen to me? I just heard you're going to listen to me. You're going to listen to me. Ooh. Scorpios, like I said, I feel like it's you who has to stand up and take charge here. But someone might be doing this to you, Scorpio. Someone might be doing this to you and trying to break through your walls. Break through your shell. Because they feel rejected by you. And they feel like they didn't get a big enough explanation. And they mean business. They mean business here. They mean business. Could be a Taurus. It feels very, feels very, or a fixed sign. It just feels very like firm, very stubborn. Very stubborn. Very stubborn. But Scorpios, like I said, I do feel like it's you who's doing this. You could be doing another Scorpio. I do feel like it's you doing this though, but it could be the other way around where someone's doing this to you. And that happens sometimes. Like if someone just like levels up, man up, woman up, they come in bulldozing their way in, breaking through someone's wall. Sometimes it forces the other person to do the same. And like I said, Scorpio, you definitely got to take on a leadership role. And I was doing a lot of feminine energy. This feels very masculine. You could have a masculine energy challenging you. Challenging you. A masculine energy that you either rejected or made them feel rejected. Even if you didn't actually reject them, they could just feel rejected and they want answers because they don't feel like they got any. Yeah, either way, this, this definitely feels like a coming together in a conversation. And I don't mean coming together like union. There's going to be a conversation. That's for damn sure. <laughs> There's definitely going to be a conversation. I'm also hearing calling. Scorpio, some of you are rising to the occasion for your calling here. Okay? It could be something you tried once before that you failed at or that you feel like you failed at. And so you're having some reservations about doing it. But you can do it. You can handle it. You just need that clarity to see how to make it happen. So you can go into magician, magician mode and go in there fearlessly. Fearlessly. Ooh, I like. And it, yeah, for some, this calling is something you've been wanting since childhood. And like I said, for some, you might have tried it out and you didn't, it wasn't so hot. You weren't so hot at it or it didn't go right. It just wasn't the right time. Now's the time. Okay. So that's definitely for some of you. Now's the time for that. Okay. All right, Scorpios. I hope you guys enjoyed that along with my Cancers and my Pisceans. I hope everybody enjoyed that. And I hope you guys have a really great November and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, guys. Namaste.